So I want to talk about the color swatch library. I'm Jason. Let me show you how this works. Now the color swatch library isn't the same as going under your window menu and calling up your libraries. I know they use the same name, but they're very different. That's why I'm talking about the color swatch libraries. When you're working with your swatches, we know we can create a new color swatch at any time, but maybe you want a group of swatches already pre-made. Illustrator has them, and you can go into two locations, either the drop-down menu here, down to the bottom, open swatch library, and get a list of swatch libraries, or click on the library icon in the lower left of the swatches panel to get the same list. Here, if you'd like to do some quick research on colors here, you can go through art history, celebration, color books, color properties. Here's our set of default swatches, which by the way, this is our set of default swatches and this is where they're stored. Maybe you wanna do something about kid stuff or nature. Let's go under nature and I'm going to select landscape. I will get a separate floating panel of colors. Now these are all pre-done swatches that live in my swatch library. And I can have these in my document at any time just by calling up the swatch library. If I'd like to now put these colors into my swatches, I can grab the folder and drag that entire folder in. And that's going to allow me to have those in my swatches panel for use at any time. Now we can use the colors directly from here if I want to, or I can put them into my swatches. Either way, I like to put them into my swatches so that I have those colors readily available and I can apply them to what I like. Now, I can have any type of library and I can access that from the bottom library panel here, even from my open library. And so maybe I go in and I want something that's going to be say kid stuff. Again, opens up another panel here of all the kid stuff, all these different colors, all usable, drag right in there. Kind of nice to have those libraries right there. And there's hundreds of libraries built right in to this watches panel. Now, if you'd like to create your own library, maybe you've gone in and you've created some colors here that you really like, and you think, you know what? I'd like to go ahead and take this entire set, and I'd like to make this into my own library so I can save it for future use. So if I'd like to save my own swatch library, it's quite simple. Any colors that I have put into my swatch panel here, I can go ahead and save this as my own library. If I don't want certain colors in my swatch library, I'm going to select them and I'm going to click on the trash can and I can get rid of any of these that I don't want. So if I want to choose several to get rid of, I can click on one, shift click on another and get rid of all of those and it's gonna allow me to get rid of them. If I'd like to add these to my swatch library so I can save my entire swatch panel as a library, I'm going to need to select them, go to the drop down menu, add the selected colors, and it's all in my swatch panel. Now, this entire swatches panel can now be saved as a swatch library. And to do this, I'm going to click on the drop down menu, and I'm going to save this as an ASE file. An ASE file is an Adobe Swatch Exchange file. That means I can use these colors not only in Illustrator, but in many other Adobe applications. If I save this as simply an AI file or an Adobe Illustrator, I'll only be able to use these colors in an Adobe Illustrator file. I'm gonna save this as a .ase. And I'm going to save this as my color swatch library. I call this my test. And it's going to save onto my hard drive deep within the Adobe Illustrator application folder. It's just the default. I'm going to click Save. It tells me that if I have any gradients or patterns or tints, they'll save here, but they may not be available in other applications because these things are specific to Adobe Illustrator. And I'm okay with that. Now, if I wanted to start up a new document and I wanted to bring up this swatches panel that I've custom made, I can go under the drop down menu open Swatch Library, go to User Defined, and I can call up my Adobe Swatch Library that I've created. And I do that, and it's gonna call up a separate panel here with all of my colors that I've had in it. So you can create your own color swatch libraries very easily and save them for use 
in this document or any other document that you use in Illustrator. Or if you're working in Photoshop and you want to call up these same colors because you want to be able to use these colors but not recreate them, you can also call up those color swatches there.